Hello everyone, this is Danny here again with another Saturday Stitching. Of course, you're looking at your calendar right now and thinking, I don't think she posted this on Saturday. And you're right, I didn't. I posted it on Friday because I'm not going to be here on Saturday. And I didn't want to get out of the habit. I'm trying to make this a habit. So I decided to go ahead and record it a day early. Also because the two little things that I, my two little FOs, are actually gifts for someone else so I won't have them to show off next week so I thought I'd just do a quick 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 video to show you the little bit that I accomplished this week okay but before that because I had I want to show you an acquisition but even before that I want to apologize since that seems to be customary in these types of videos number one the glare on my glasses I learned the trick to get rid of the glare on my glasses and it worked when I wasn't recording and now several days later when I'm ready to record and it, it said to turn the brightness down on your screen I've tried to turn the brightness down my janky laptop has decided no it doesn't want to do it anymore I the button goes up and the button goes down the screen doesn't do anything so I either you see the glare on my glasses or I take my glasses off and I record blind up to you guys no not really up to me I'm leaving the glasses on also uh, I'm supposed to apologize for the fact that there is a fan going in the background but you know what I'm in the south and it is 81 degrees today and we don't have central air conditioning I'm not apologizing for the fan I think you guys can hear me. I did a little test. I think you guys can hear me okay. And I'm sure nobody's going to be offended that there's a little hum in the background so that they won't see sweat dripping down my face. Okay. Now that we're done with all of that, I think the heat is making me a little cranky. Anyway, now that we're done with all of that, first up is my acquisition. And I told you last week that I'm not an acquisitions kind of girl. And... My daughters, you girls know, I don't buy a lot. I'm not big on spending the monies. But I was out with my stitchy pal, Miss Libby, and at her favorite store, Michael's. And I wasn't going to buy anything. I was just going to look to see what different colors of cotton they had because I have been in the mood to make dishcloths lately. And they happen to have a display at Michael's of scrubby cotton which I've seen online but I didn't know what it felt like and so I felt it and it feels like it would be perfect it's a hundred percent cotton because that's my worry with these scrubby ones they usually have some sort of acrylic in it and I'm like okay that's not going to soak up water if it's got acrylic in it but this is a hundred percent cotton but it has little slubby things on it that make it just scratchy enough that it would be good if you got a little bit of something sticky on the counter because I like to use dishcloths not for washing dishes necessarily but for wiping the counters and the stove down so and this was 450 for this ball so I hope I can get at least two dishcloths out of it I just wanted to try it I just wanted to try it and I got this this tan taupe coffee and cream almost color because it matches our kitchen so I just wanted to try it and as I said I've got dishcloths on the brain um, I had some Lion Brand kitchen cotton in my stashette in my yarn closet back here that your Aunt Terry bought for me to make her a tea cozy and I never used it because that was before Ravelry and I couldn't find the right pattern and I couldn't figure out how to make a tea cozy because you know I don't do anything without a pattern so I it's been sitting there but she bought the yarn and she's never mentioned it she's just kind of let it pass because she's that kind of person but it makes me feel guilty every time I push past it in the yarn closet so I, since I'm seeing her that's why I'm not going to be here t 
to post this on Saturday because we're going to Hippie Fest tomorrow. But I'm going to spend the night at her house tonight, you know, as we do, because she lives a little over an hour away. So I said to myself last week, well, I should take those, take that kitchen cotton and make some dishcloth. So at least she gets something useful out of the yarn that she bought. And I mean, she bought this yarn. It, it's got to be 10 years ago. You girls were like babies, barely in elementary school when she bought this yarn. So she may not even remember it, but I do. So I haven't gotten, I didn't get as much done as I wanted to because you know I'm not as fast with the needles and the hooks as I would like to think I am. But I did finish and I didn't necessarily want to do because there is the ball band dishcloth and there is the granny's favorite dishcloth. I know you girls, you know, don't hang out on Ravelry like I do, but though anybody else who doesn't belong to me, who's a knitter or a crocheter, they know that those are like the basic patterns that have been passed around for years and years. And I didn't necessarily want to do want, do those. I want to do something a little bit different. So I did, my first one was something called a copycat dishcloth. I hope you can, can you see that? Can you see that? I don't know if you can see, but it's got like right here, it's all stockinette. And then it's got a band of stockinette at the bottom here to look like one of those store-bought washcloths or dishcloths where you have a look, where the weaving is a little bit different on either end. And then all of this is just plain garter stitch. So it should have been quicker considering it's not, you know, not a complicated pattern, but it still took me forever because I'm slow. And then I decided, well, let me try, well, my next step before I get to this other one, I was going to try the Almost Lost Dishcloth, which is another legacy pattern that's been floating around forever nobody has credit for it because it's been out there for ages but I was going to do the mini versions to um so she could use them as like makeup remover pads or whatever but of course me in short rows I can do short rows if I'm doing the heel of a sock a heel and a gusset short rows are my friend perfect anything else where the item is supposed to be in the round. Somehow, I take a wrong turn down a one-way street and where it's supposed to be going in a circle, my things always end up going this way and then that way and then this way and then that way and then that way. It's never round. So that didn't work out. So I pulled that out. And then I tried another one called Crazy Eights, which is also short rows and also supposed to be in the round. But somehow I managed to get it to be round. So see, not as big as the other one. And this one worked out pretty well. But you do have to, I learned a new skill today was mattress stitch. I had to do mattress stitch I don't know if you can see you can't see but that's where I had to sew the seam so the seam doesn't look too bad with with this being variegated the seam kind of blends in so although I can feel the lump of it in the back because my mattress stitch was not that good so <laughs> but it was my very first time doing it so so that's dishcloth number two but she, it is, as I'm recording this, she's going to be here in two hours, okay? I still have, let me see if I can find it, un momento. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm. My stool, just a second. Ah. 
Now, wasn't that graceful? I still have this much kitchen cotton left. And this much of the green. So I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything with this. But I could get at least one more dishcloth out of this. So there's a pattern. There's a pattern that came on the ball band. I don't know what it looks like because the picture doesn't even really show you much. So I don't know what the dishcloth is really going to look like. But since time is of the essence and I want to try to get at least one more dishcloth done before she shows up, I want to do something where I don't have to do seams. So I'm not going to do another round one. I may either do the granny's dishcloth, which is just like the giant baby blanket from Knit on the Diagonal. I know how to do that in my sleep. Or I might try what's on the ball band. But either way, that is all that I have accomplished this week. I haven't worked on any of my whips um, because I wanted to get this out of the way. Um, next week, you will probably see more dishcloths, possibly some pot holders, because you know your brother got me that pot holder loom that one of the other YouTubers um, mentioned. I forget, I forget what her name is. Ugh, I forget what her name is. If I remember, I'll put it on the bottom. I forget what her name is, but her and her daughter, her daughter makes... Um, pot holders with that loom, the Harrisville. It's not the, the usual one that's about that big that you buy kids that every kid and their sister has had. It's like a older sister version of it because it's bigger. And I don't really want it to make the loops. It comes with loops and I'm going to use up those loops and use those pot holders in my kitchen, but I really wanted the loom itself so that I could um, because I saw some videos on using regular yarn to weave on the loom and make squares that you can make a blanket out of. So I'm interested in trying that. So anyway, that's all I've accomplished this week. Next week you'll probably see more pot holders. Hopefully I've finished the Star Trek pot holder by then. You'll probably see my scrubby dishcloths and I'll, and I'll probably will use them in the kitchen by then. You hear me, this is me setting up my goals for next week. So if I make a video next week and I ha and you don't see these things, you can call me on it. But, um, and hopefully I will have put in some work on at least one of these Afghans by the time you see me next week. Um, woven in with, of course, my English class, my book blog, and trying to find a way to make some money. Not a busy week at all. But anyway, signing off. Got to go pack and get ready for Hippie Fest. To those who belong to me and those who don't, see you next week.